This is the second last series of the day. Max is kind of like the Chinese hope, even though we still have Top as well. Top's still in the running. He is once more in the group that we are going to see next week with Hawk, uh, Teja and Maj uh, Major. But I think that's going to be a very tough group for, uh, for Top. Top also the Chinese player I know the least about. I know more about uh, XY and Jigua and of course Maxed and Jim than I know about Top. But yeah, we were looking at the brackets. I didn't even realize Top was Chinese. I thought he was Korean for some reason. Yeah, there was a Korean Top. There was OGS Top. That's yeah. that's right. Now I don't feel as dumb. <laughs> he was uh, he was the Korean that went. It was the very 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 first time that a Korean went to a foreign event. At least I think it was Dreamhack back then. That was Top. Yeah. Like OGS Top went to Dreamhack, and I think that Noni beat him in a PvP, and then everyone was like, "Oh my God, Noni, you beast!" Because Noni just lost to uh, Dabu, the Dutch jerk, and everyone was like, "Wow, Noni, what's that?" And then Noni beat Top. And uh, there were two Koreans at, the, at Top, and maybe Speed. Uh, I don't know. But no, Noni was playing Phoenix back then, right? Uh, no, I think it was a one base. No, he played uh, the Korean Protoss Top played Blink Stalker, and Noni played. Uh, just a one base Colossus, and he played it very safe, had enough Immortals. Played on Zelnaga Caverns, I remember that game. A long time ago, but good time spent. Either way, that's not really relevant right now. Wang Zin is gonna go up um, against Maxed. Maxed, of course, our red Protoss player spawning on the left up side of the map. And Wang Zin is our blue Protoss spawning in the right bottom side. My oldest StarCraft II Noni memory is of him playing Phoenixes against Terran. And people are like, that amazing Phoenix micro! Before we realized that Phoenix is just always shot. <laughs> well, there was a change in Phoenixes. Because first they, uh, they, did they not didn't have it. moving shot. No. When they introduced it, I was like, oh my god, I love this unit right now. Phoenixes are probably one of the coolest units in the game. I think they have so much flavor. They are really cool, but I still wish like their energy would be a little bit different. Because it's either like Graviton Bean, Graviton Bean, Graviton Bean, and then it's kind of nothing for a little while in some situations. Um, I, I love them, but I think they could be even more cooler and exciting. I think I the coolest units in StarCraft are Phoenixes, Banelings, and Widow Mines. I find it very funny that you put Phoenixes in that row. But okay. I just think they're really dynamic and interesting. Okay. Well, Ben, we're all entitled to our own opinion. I mean, like if you replace the Colossus with the Reaver, I would change that. But hmm. Or with a Farseer. <laughs> Blade Master. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Either way, let's take a look at the opening. We see a double gate opening once more for Maxed. I am expecting uh, him to expand off this, but I was wrong before and I might be wrong again. So, you know, Maxed, fool me once. Maybe fool me twice. Wong Zin Audio is busting out a sentry where it might be a one gate fast expand build. Um, yeah, he has a Zealot sentry. Saving up a little bit of money. There we go. He's gonna go one gate fast expand. Maxed on the other end is probably going to see what's going on with the double gate opening. Uh, you're going to have a rough time really doing something against this unless your opponent misuses Photon Overcharge. Because um, there should be a robo behind this because the Immortal is going to keep you safe against most uh, Stalker plays or even Gateway Pressures and whatnot. Uh, once more we see Maxed throwing down the third gateway, but I don't think he's going to overcommit in trying to break this. But you know, Ben, you might be wrong. We all have different ways to go against this. But it's safe to say that if a Protoss player who goes one gate fast expand, if he does, you know, everything right, he will survive. He will keep that base alive. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so certainly Huang Sin. But uh, Huang Sin is not dropping a robo. He's not dropping anything right now. He's dropping gates. Hmm, interesting. One. Two. Okay, so now he's going to have to be very methodical about this. When is he going to, like, if he's going to drop photon overcharge right on the... Because he opened this very differently. If he's going to drop photon overcharge... Right on the moment this Nexus finishes, Maxed is going to wait until it expires, and then he's going to go again. And then I think Wang Xin is going to have a really difficult time dealing with this. Maxed throws down a Stargate right now, by the way, and that's really uh, questionable. Whoa, 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 Mothership Core. You don't want to lose Mothership Core. cannot afford that kind of a loss, Wang Xin. Uh, I think Maxed is going to bust one base, but I find his Stargate timing very weird. If it's one gate, Stargate, and then extra gates, I find it brilliant. On this moment, he might actually... You know, what is he going to do? Dude, this Stargate's proxied. Uh, so Void Ray, Oracle. Something. Oracle is probably a good choice because, you know, he's probably going to have to deal with sentries and zealots. And Something crazy. There's also a pylon proxied up on the top half of the map by Huangsen, so uh, no telling how this one's going to play out. But definitely we are seeing a... a oh, interesting. <laughs> Slow down! 
All right, Void Rain production for Max set, so that's gonna melt stalkers if there will ever be a lot of stalks from Wang Zin. Right now, there's not a single stalker on the map. Photon Overcharge is about to expire, though, and I, uh, you know, with the Robo being this late, Ben, I think it's gonna be pretty tough for Wang Zin to keep this base alive. Normally, you can have like two Immortals, and then you just kill stalkers really quickly, and then you, for the rest, you rely on Force Field. Yeah, oh man, Max said, or Wang is just like, all right, you can have it. I will. Uh what do you mean? You can have it like the Nexus? Yeah. He's just defensively force fitting his own ramp. He's not going to even try to come down. Mm, okay, I think that makes sense because he was just not going to be able to keep it alive. I don't this think Void this Ray is so scary, Kev. There's only sentries that can shoot up. Uh, I think it was not a very crisp build from Wang Xin. Huh? It's that oh. Zealot run by off the um, off that pylon up at the top. Uh, top right hand corner of the map, and this is kind of interesting. Yeah, Max has got no money, he can't warp in, Kev. Not just that, he also doesn't really have that much supply. He's on 53 out of 58, so he's able to make. Uh, look, just cancel your Void Ray, Max. I can understand you love those Void Ray, but that Void Ray is not really going to win you oh the game no. right now. He's going to go all the way back. Wow. Rico, you have a Mothership Core. No? He'd lose it? He never. He, he used energy to time warp. Oh, it's back right now, it's, all, it's already back, so he's going to use Photon Overcharge. That's very interesting. Wow, this is so bad for Max Ed. He was in a great position, and suddenly he's in an awful position. Mm, yeah, he, wow, he's done eight workers. And I don't really like his tag either. And his target is proxied. All right, well, that went really weird. And it's so funny as well how I felt that that pylon was not going to play a crucial role. Boy, was I ever wrong. That pylon was the absolute game chaser. <laughs> oh, yay. And he's even going to lose a stalker for free. Well, not for free, but... Close to being for free. Donates a stalker. Twilight Guns are going up on the other side of the map. Photon Overcharge is still active, and these zealots will get cleaned up eventually. But as you said, Ben, once and suddenly finds himself in an absolutely fantastic position, killing that, killing that pilot, killing that proxy Stargate, being up in work as 29 like against 17. Hawkson played a Hearthstone card. It said, pay 400 minerals, kill 10 workers, and get your opponent off your side of the map. Uh, but I, I think it's safe to say that Max had mishandled that very bad. Look oh, yeah. how far away that pylon is. It was three zealots. If he cancels that void rate that's in production and he wipes in three zealots on his own, pulls pro for a split second, he at least still has a contain on his opponent. A contain that Wang Xin is not going to be able to break for, for ages, basically, because he's stuck on top of his ramp and he has nothing to break force fields. The army of Max Ed is still pretty scary for the mm. army of Huang Xin. There's only three stalkers The moment now. Photon Overcharge is ready, I do not think it's going to be possible. Well, it's not ready yet. That Nexus is not finished building. If Max Ed goes right now, it's mm. going to be close. But force fields. Force fields can buy the time. That's true. That is true. We're going to need... There's more good force fields. Void Rays in the fight. Oh, he knows he can't fight Photon Overcharge. Photon Overcharge is going to be uh, casted immediately. Good force oh, nice. fields there by Wong Zin. He's going to be able to trap four uh, Zealots. Very well done. Good uh, force fields by uh, Max Ed wow, as well. Wow, Max Ed's going to force the issue. These Void Rays in the sky raining down. Death from above. And uh, Stalkers are not really able to engage. Uh, Max said is going to continue to push the issue. Unfortunately, one of those void rays in range of photon overcharge. Yep. A uh, careless loss. The immortals are all going down there for Wang Xin, and Wang Xin lost a lot of important units, but he's uh, he's researching Blink Ben. He's up on 31 workers. Every second that goes by is a fantastic oh. second for Wang Xin. Well, Max no. had killed the mothership core. There's no more photon overcharge, true, so he's got until. But it's Blink Stalkers. Blink Stalkers don't die, Ben. That's true, too. And. and 16 probes. There's not a whole lot of process units you are able to produce from 16 probes. Certainly not when two of them are not even mining. Just got yeah. that. It's just going to be one. F if he had kept that other Void Ray alive, then maybe. But yeah, even, even still. But even if he kills the Nexus, he's still down 15 workers. Yeah. And right now it's going to be Blink Stock, because Wang Xin is going to display us some uh, excellent Blink Micro, because, you know, against this army of Mechset, if he does everything right, Ben, he doesn't really lose a single Stalker. There's the uh, charge on the Void Ray. Uh, Huangson is microing exceptionally well. One forward blink on top of the Void Ray means that uh, a Stalker will be uh, oh, will die, but for the most part, that's an excellent defense by Huangson. If that would have been a force for that would have been a little dicey. You know, I actually don't like too much how Huangson went at it like that. Or perhaps it wasn't as easy as I thought, but still, I think he could have done it a little bit better. Uh, I still think he's going to be fine, though, and he still has a massive worker advantage. He has blink against no blink. He really shouldn't lose too many units here. Stalker's going to have to continue to be microed pretty well. Zealots are trying to make it interesting. Well, Mothership Core also in the mix. Actually, this is going great for Maxet for some reason, which it really shouldn't. I feel like this is still should be a defense for Huangson. Yeah, it should, but it's been already a lot closer. 
It should have been. And right now, Maxit is actually at 20 workers against 24. Wang Xin lost a lot of Blink stalkers there, but he does have an unit advantage right now, and he still has Blink. So this should finally be the moment where we can truly see the power of Blink. <laughs> No, we'll see. Max is doing some good focus fire, but uh, Huangsen's microing excellently. This is the moment. And that'll be that'll be that. One more stalker's gonna fall, but Huangsen cleans it up and Max said taps out. Good game. That really went a lot 